Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In the previous video tutorial, we learned how to install PIA portal version 20. Today, in this video tutorial, we will guide you step by step on how to create your first project in Siemens WinCC Unified version 20. Whether you are the beginner or brushing up your skills, this video for you. Let's drive right in. So first, we'll open Siemens TIA portal version 20. Double click here. So TIA portal is open. Now click here, create a new project. And I will try project name my first check and click here create So our project is created. Now click here device and network. Then click here add a new device. So then click PC station and then just select semantic HMI application, just expand it. Then select Siemens WinCC Unified PC and click over the add button. Then our project new device is added and now just expand it and uh, the first step I will add a screen so expand the screen then click add a new screen our screen is added I will add some text here so add control store For example, I will add any IO field and I will add buttons here. Small. I will add a circle as a lamp. That's it. Just save it. The next step is um, go here in the runtime setting, open it, so here we will do just two configurations. One is an encrypted transfer, we will enter the password, then we will come here in the security and the local uh, control we must have to ensure the local uh, user management should be selected so it's already selected then in the general put the password Let's press the enter key uh, i will shortly uh, show you how we can configure this encrypted transfer password After entering the password, just press the enter key. Okay. So this for the encrypted transfer password configuration, just open the WinCC Unified configuration. Just open it. So in 
the previous tutorial once we install the uh, ta portal software on that time we did this configurations i will explain it again and like uh, here we have to do some web configuration so we'll create a certificate uh, to share a certificate so we'll select this create a new certificate option and then we'll click next and here as uh, we keep it same and i already explained in the uh, a portal we have two type of the user management one is a local one is a central user management so in this project we'll use the local user management so just keep it default click next so here you have to consider where our alarm events and historical data base will be stored so you have to just uh, give the location so then same way the reports where we have to store the reports and here is the configuration whatever password you will enter it here same password you have to enter here in the encrypted transfer password so you must have to ensure that this password while you are doing you just have to put down this password and same password you click next and here is the summary of all configuration step so i will cancel it yes then so i will just close it so then the, the second step is you will come here in the settings then user roles so click here add a new user So I will add like user one, and after that the type we have to select either local or central user. Select the local user, then we have to insert the password. Hit the enter key after entering the password. Okay, after. Uh, creating a new user and password then we have to select the roles for this user so i will select hmi administrator hmi operator and hmi monitor and hmi monitor so that's it so i will save it this project and after that i will compile the project right click And compile and rebuild. Our project is successfully compiled now, no zero error and zero things. So now I will download this project in my PC, right click. And you can directly download from here or from here you can select the option and think. So here you can use any of the option, either you can put it here like uh, localhost IP as well, one two seven zero dot zero dot one. Either you can uh, PC name like you can put the local host name also or you can like select the use the pc name for my case i will just pop my pc name and i will just paste it here and click on connect Okay, then after that, click load. It will compile again, and after that, it will download uh, my program in the PC.
click here full download after that one of the most important setting most of the user while they are creating a new project and they are not just uncheck this options because if you will not un uncheck these options so whatever you created here a new user account and role it will not download it will use the whatever the previous downloaded uh, created uh, accounts in the hmi it will use the same so you must have to uncheck these options otherwise you will not able to and that's it let's click over the load so our project is successfully loaded so before open the uh, our project in uh, web browser you must have check the runtime manager uh, settings either our project is in the running mode or not so just double click and open the runtime manager so while you first time open this so you have to go here in the setting area and same whatever here you to enter the password in the WinCC unified configuration you have to enter it here okay as you can see our uh, that project we downloaded in the PC it's already appear here but it's in the stop mode so select your project click here start so our project is right now in the uh, running mode status you can see running. so now i will open the web browser so i will enter it here the same my pc name and after that we will click here the main cgu for runtime rt Uh, you can see now the user login page is appear so i will enter the username and then the password so the sign in key so here you can see whatever uh, we edit the text then io field and button it is uh, runtime we are able to see so alhamdulillah we learn how we can create our first project in WinCC unified and how we can uh, see in the runtime our all uh, configurations thanks for watching this video